Dear students, today we are discussing very important one mark, two mark, three mark questions in 3D geometry. One mark question, what is the first question? One mark is find DCs of a line which makes equal angles. That means cos alpha is equal to cos beta is equal to cos gamma. We know the formula cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is 1. All are equal means 3 cos square alpha is 1. Cos square alpha is 1 by 3. Cos alpha 1 by root 3. So dc is equal to 1 by root 3 comma 1 by root 3 comma 1 by root 3. This is a very important question for one mark in 3D geometry. Now we are moving to two marks. Question dear students. What is a very important two mark question in 3D geometry is if you want to listen, you can uh, listen one more time this particular question uh, because you are watching PK Mass Channel Live. So whenever you want, you can pause and you can write the answer. I can continue the question. Next question, find the angle between two lines. Angle between two lines. If the given question like this, find angle between two lines. Find, it's a two mark they lost. Find angle between two lines. Dear students, x minus 2 by 2 is equal to y minus 1 by 5 is equal to z plus 3 by minus 3. And x plus 2 by minus 1 is equal to y minus 4 by 8 is equal to z minus 5 by 4. Find angle between two lines. You know, dear students, the angle between two lines in Cartesian form formula. Cartesian form formula. Anybody? Cos theta is equal to a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 by root of a1 square plus b1 square plus c1 square into root of a2 square plus b2 square plus c2 square. Correct no? Under modulus. Cos theta is equal to a1 a2 2 into minus 1 minus 2 plus b1 b2 5 into 8 40 c1 c2 minus 1 by root of a1 square 4 b1 square 25 and 9 into root of a2 square 1 b2 square 64 plus 16 under modulus cos theta is equal to 40 minus 14 26 by root of 25 plus 4 29 plus 9 38 into root of 81 theta is equal to cos inverse 26 by root 38 into 9 theta is equal to cos inverse 26 by 9 root 38 this is the answer Clear. This is the just they may change in the examination the question. In the examination, they will change the lines, but they will give Cartesian form is A1, B1, C1, A2, B2, C2 only you can consider. Okay. A1, A2 plus B1, B2 plus C1, C2 by root of A1 square plus B1 square plus C1 square into root of A2 square plus B2 square C2 square. Values you substitute here and you will get the answer. Clear understood everybody? Next question. These are two more questions they may ask in the examination. So, PK Master are live always with you in your mobile. If you didn't finish the problem, don't worry. You can pause it and you can write it again. Okay. Because of shortage of time, I am explaining all the questions at a time. Because if the video is very short, you will watch nicely. If video is very lengthy, you people will not watch, I know. That's why I make it the video very short. Next. Find shortest distance between shortest distance between lines maybe they will ask for 3 mark this question so r bar is equal to i cap plus 2j cap plus k cap plus lambda into i cap minus j cap plus k cap and r bar is equal to 2i cap minus j cap minus k cap plus mu into 2i cap plus j cap plus 2k cap so what, to, what is the formula for finding the shortest distance dear students shortest distance formula d is equal to b1 bar cross b2 bar dot a2 bar minus a1 bar by magnitude of b1 bar cross b2 bar so dear student what is a1 bar mean? this is a1 bar this is a2 bar this is b1 bar this is b2 bar first i can consider b a2 bar minus a1 bar what is a2 minus a1 2 minus 1 1 i cap minus j minus 2 j minus 3 j cap minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 k cap next you can find b1 bar cross b2 bar so i cap j cap k cap in vector algebra you study now to find the cross product v1 coefficients 1 minus 1 1 
टू वन टू ओके दट इज ईक्वल टू ई क्या इंटू क्लोज रो कल मैनस टू मैनस वन मैनस जे क्या इंटू क्लोज रो कल टू मैनस टू प्लस के क्या इंटू क्लोज रो कल वन प्लस टू मैनस थ्री ए क्या मैनस जीरो जे क्या प्लस थ्री के क्या Now we want magnitude of b1 bar cross b2 bar. Square root of 3 square plus 3 square. 2 into 3 square, 3 root 2. Now we want b1 bar cross b2 bar dot a2 bar minus a1 bar. That means this vector and this vector dot product. Dot product will multiply the coefficients. 1 into minus 3 minus 3. Minus 3 into minus 0 0. Minus 2 into plus 3 minus 6. That is equal to minus sign. D is equal to modulus of minus sign by three root two. Three by root two. That's it. This is the shortest distance between two lines. It's a three mark question. How they will give three marks, Miss Dear students? For finding b one cross b two bar one mark, magnitude of b one bar one mark. For the direct answer one mark. Total three mark question. Very important in lines particularly. Shortest distance between two lines is the formula. Okay, formula substitution directly, dear students. Vector algebra, if you know means, if if you know at least a determinant chapter, you can understand this problem. This problem because this is nothing but determinant. I cap into close row column, J cap into close row column, K cap into row close row column. Understand? We are discussing very important questions in. Uh, 3D geometry, one mark, two mark, three marks. Important question. You are watching PK Maths channel. Please subscribe it. Press bell button for regular updates. Dear students, copy this question because of time. Very less is there. That's why I am moving to next question. Just you can uh, watch video. We'll continue. Suppose they will give sometimes questions. So show the two planes. Two lines are coplanar. And how to solve that question? Coplanar of two lines. Sometimes they will give question for three marks because of shortage of time. I am explaining all the questions. If the video is very less, you can watch easy. So that the lines, the lines, it is also three mark question. We will ask x plus three by minus three is equal to y minus one by one is equal to z minus five by five and X plus one by minus one is equal to y minus two by two is equal to z minus five by five. Or coplanar. Dear students, how to prove coplanar? Very simple. We have one formula. X two minus x one, y two minus y one, z two minus z one, a one, b one, c one, a two, b two, c two. If this value is equal to zero, means we can say that the given lines are coplanar. So how to prove this is? What is x two? This is x one, y one, z one, x two, y two, z two. Denominators a one, b one, c one, a two, b two, c two. Slowly, you can stop the video and see what is a one, what is b one, what is c one, what is x one, x two. Then you can understand the problem very clearly. Okay. X two means minus one. X one means minus three. Y two means two. Y one means one. Z2 means 5. Z1 means minus 5. If they given plus, you can consider minus. If they given minus, you will consider plus. Like that. Minus or minus plus will come here. A1 minus 3, 1 5. A2 minus 1 2 5. 3 minus 1 2, 2 minus 1 1 0. Minus 
minus 3, 1, 5, minus 1, 2, 5. 2 into 5 minus 10, minus 1 into closed row column, minus 15 plus 5, minus 0. 2 into minus 5, minus 1 into minus 10, minus 10 plus 10, how much? 0. Therefore, lines are coplanar. Understand? If this formula, if you got the answer 0, determinant becomes 0. See, in determinant chapter, you understand, no? If three points are collinear, then determinant value 0, same concept. If determinant value 0 means we can say that the lines are coplanar. Understand? These are the very important 1 mark, 2 mark, 3 mark questions for today's class. So, please subscribe to PKMS channel, press bell button for regular updates. Please share this video to all your friends who are writing the revision midterm examination. I wish you all the best. Uh, follow that next video. That's it today's class. See you all. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Your PKSA signing off.